Hey guys, this short devotional, we're going to talk about what it means to persevere and have joy in trials that we're going to face in life. So that's going to be fun. But before we get into that, if you love the content here, would you mind subscribing to the channel? It helps us bring you this content every day. The more subscribers, hopefully the, the more the algorithm will push us and we'll get more reach and more people will see our content. And that's just really cool that that can even happen. So let's go ahead and jump in. Today's going to be from James 1, 2 through 4, and I'll go ahead and read it. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let that perseverance finish, at work, finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So first of all, let's talk about trials. They're never fun, you know. This, in this, this particular instance, it could be any trial. It doesn't have to be spiritual. It can be, and a lot of times it is. But any trial we're facing, you know, physical ailment, and it's you know, struggling you know, to get out of the house, and, and whatever it is, you know, we can find joy in that. And that's something that I think is wonderful about God. It is the fact that in Him, there is joy. There is love. You know, we, when we go to Him and we, we seek after joy, we can find it in, in God. It's not... It's not something that we'll always want to feel. It's not. It's not like happy. It's not an emotion, right? You know, it's it's completely different. It's something that we can feel even when times just utterly suck and we just don't like and, and enjoy life at the moment. That's the wonderfulness of God. Is the fact that in those moments we can still have joy. And I think that's highlighted here really well. I mean, pure joy. Like thinking about something pure, like the essence of it. The the idea of of all, all joy, only you know full joy and I think that's something that is really amazing that we even have the ability to do and I thank God for that all the time and moving on uh, you know we're, we're gonna face trials but when we are tested it can strengthen our faith when we have faith in God and we want to grow in that sometimes struggles will, ha will happen and appear and in that there's an opportunity for our faith to grow because when there's a struggle in our life, we can turn to God for that, and we can further seek Him, and it sometimes helps us even recognize that we need to go to God, and that we need to seek after Him, and, and go to Him in prayer, and go to His Word, and study His, His Word, because I'll tell you, when life is easy, and you don't have to worry about much, it's incredibly easy to forget God, and, and go upon, upon your own path, because it's like, whatever, I don't even need God, and sometimes I think struggles are put, put in life to draw us back to God and draw us back to His plan for our lives because sometimes we can definitely get that misconstrued with what we think is right and, and what we think is good. Now, I mean, kind of also, like, there needs, sometimes there needs to be some struggle. Like, it says, you know, let the perseverance finish the work so that you may be more mature, I mean, mature and complete. And I think that's something that, that needs to be highlighted, that the fact that, you know, in, in, in some times, in some instances, it's hard to be mature and hard to get more maturity when when life is easy and we're not turning to God and when we're we're thinking oh, everything's hunky dory and we got it all and when when we when we live this lifestyle we it's it's almost impossible to get mature because there's there's nothing that's there's no catalyst in our lives that's uh, you know, building us up and, and maturing in, uh, us in our lives. And sometimes when we have struggles and when we have trials of any kind, they can really be that catalyst in our lives to make us go to God and, and, and seek after Him and seek after His wisdom and, and the maturity that He can grant us. And really, I think that's kind of what this is saying. That You know, kind of wrapping it up, we have, we have trials. But we can find joy in them, and, and joy in them, and we should find joy in them. It's good to find joy in trials in God, and also that you know they can strengthen our faith. There's there's a purpose to them. Oftentimes, God uses um, you know bad things for His glory, and that's in the end of the day all that we need to be wor worried about is bringing glory to God. And I think that can really be done with this, with trials in our lives that that can uh, affect us maybe in a negative sense here on earth, but when we can find joy in them and find the peace in that we can turn to God and then you know, we can further our relationship with Him and hopefully grow that even more. Alright, thank you guys.